stunning victory over the Hungarian king at the Battle of Mohi, the Mongols seemed unstoppable. Because they baited him. But a year later, the great Khan Ogaday died. Peace the Mongols out. pulled out of Europe and returned home. Over the next 20 years, Two more great Khans ascended to the throne. That dude looked so grumpy on his Their horse. Their conquests continued to expand the empire in the east. Then in 1260, the grandson of Genghis became the next great Khan. Kublai. His name yeah. was Kublai Khan. He would rock the foundations of one of the medieval world's most advanced civilizations. China. Do I finally get trebuchets? Domination. This is Shangdu. Remember today is Xanadu. It was once Kublai Khan's great northern capital. From here, he jealously eyed the wealth of southern China's Song Dynasty. Looks well organized. He wanted to take it and become emperor of all China. I like the trees on the side of the road. They had good decoration. The Song Dynasty had ruled over southern China for more than 300 years. And the country was prosperous and well governed. Kublai Khan knew that the key to victory was capturing a strategic city lying far to the south of Shangdu. It was called Changyong. And they were rich. Changyong was the gateway to the south. And the heart of the Song Dynasty's power. Heck of a wall the again. River, a critical access route to cities further along the Yangtze. Capturing Changyong was Kublai Khan's only hope of becoming emperor of all China. The Mongol horde had to take the city at all costs. Ooh. Such pressure. Kublai Khan, not content with rule over his own lands, coveted the riches of the Song Dynasty to the south. Not content. His army to the Fun, funny way to put it. And Shangyang, confident in his tried and tested tactics. Okay. Although Kublai's ultimate target was the fortress of Chongyang, the Mongols would first have to control its sister city of Fancheng. Mm. Fancheng. Let's do a little bit of exploring here, while the mango die can do what they do best. Micro. It's so silly. Palace guards are quite armored, though. Can't just pick them off like spears. Hmm. There's a market over here. Or a trade post? Whatever it's actually called. The thing you trade with. Outpost. Okay. You guys come down here then. Burn it. Oh. Give me that lumber. The Mongol 
Mongols cleared the bridge of its guards and continued their advance. Well, I can't get down here. Okay. Uh -oh. Considering they're working on it, maybe it'll happen eventually. Interesting prospect. Send the scouts across. I find it very important to destroy whatever buildings you happen to find just so you get the extra money. Mongol things. Ooh. Okay. So they are pretty well entrenched. But I already see the side road. Just go around. But you can avoid some of their constructions. Let's go. That's actually quite a lot of guys. Spears and archers with more common? Really? Well, this isn't very nice. in this area. Alright. All the archers there are shooting me too. Oh, those are villagers. Oh. That's not a threat. Just waltz right on by them. of buildings up here. Very nice. <laughs> now you run, really. You guys handle those buildings while the scouts do a little bit of scouting. Big shot. Been a lot of treasure. And buildings, too. Seems like it's worth looking around. I might want to get rid of those guys. I'm not sure if I'll need to come back through here for anything or not. Oh, more patrols.
The militia are so slow. Yes, scouts, I see them. I'm aware of their presence. done up here. Very good. achievement for getting every treasure chest, please. Looks like I could actually go around. But there's not really that many guys. I'm not sure it's necessary. Well, that's actually a little unfortunate. The Mongols spotted a fortified song camp, blocking the road to the Twin Cities. Okay, so, new plan. If I have to do this again, go around the side path. The Mongols called in their reinforcements. Together, the two detachments would strike the camp from both sides, pincering mm. the song. Oh yeah, I lost a lot in that engagement. So, new plan, guys. Do as I say, not as I do. Go around that top side path. Avoid the bad guys. Attack simultaneously from both sides to overwhelm the defenders. Foundational strategy. Just all sitting there. And, uh, that's not proper social distancing, guys. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything over here. They're all sitting on the right side. I can just attack the top, right? Mm. Oh, they respond. They respond pretty quickly, actually. I do not have enough guys to break down that gate. All the spring olds. They have spring olds. Well, lost everything over there. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Really? They put the Springles on the outside of the gate. AI's too good. Go ahead and break this gate open so that I can get the scouts moving. Do some more exploration. Bring units to be healed by the monks. I want to be healed by the monks. I don't know what they're yelling about, but they're pumped. Ah, hmm. uh, okay, so these are the monks. My scouts don't need healing. With the Song Camp destroyed, the Mongols set in motion their plan to seize the Twin Cities. First, they would meet with an allied force at the gates of Fancheng. Okay. This assault force would attack the gates of Fancheng, while the Mongol vanguard would defend the siege weapons firing upon the cities. Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to defend the siege weapons. These monks heal injured units. You go figure. I couldn't tell by the green plus health icons going on. Oh, I get more guys. The Mongols met with the Allied assault force at the gates of Fancheng. As the Allied okay. force charged the gates, the Mongol vanguard moved to defend the siege weapons from Song attacks. Defend the siege weapons, okay. That should be pretty easy. Oh, hey, I found, found bad guys already. As the Mongols approached, the Song burned the bridge to Shenyang, preventing a direct assault on the fortress. Protect the Allen Trebuchets. I just got started. Oh, so they burned the bridge because I got close to it when I was attacking their guys. Mongols switched strategies and called on a Whoa. large group of reinforcements to bring in their mobile camp. The Mongols would besiege the mighty Twin Cities. Well, okay then. Besiege. Move the units Mongols to occupy each bridge bridgehead. The Mongol strategy was to hold the city's bridges so that no Song forces could escape and no reinforcements could enter. Ah, uh, we're gonna starve them out. Okay, so I need to get the production structures here set up at each location. And have 55 units in each spot. Meanwhile, defend these trebuchets. Okay. Should be fine, right? Mm -hmm. 
Give me that gold. I don't think it actually matters whether or not I lose the trebuchets now. But my objective is just to capture these bridges. I need to split stuff up. The stupa axe is an uvo, so that's going to be good for producing. Let's put that over here. <laughs> oh, they're stuck because I never destroyed this gate. Oh, epic fail. Alright, so I can get all of this set up here. Not that bridge. This bridge. So now it's going to be a game of just trying to balance how many forces I have in each spot. We want the stupa set up so that everything can get the uvu benefits here. All the way over here. <laughs> so now I can just start queuing up production. I don't think I want to rally everything into the circles until I'm ready, though. So that it doesn't trigger early. <clears throat> oh, reduced production time would be good, but I could get the extra upgrades. The attack and armor would be a good, good choice. Because I'm just going to take a wild guess here that after I put all these units in place I'm gonna have to defend them. and everything up. Can sell the lumber. Sell all the lumber. Buy some more food though. Men at arms, lancers, and crossbowmen only need food and gold. The middle spot is benefiting from the Uvu's double production, so I need to make sure I have enough stuff down here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
once everything is pretty well set up, just put it all on separate control groups. So that way you can check on everything quickly and easily. One, two, three. All out of stone. Might as well just wait until I'm maxed out. Heavy food, heavy food, and double food, okay. It's definitely more food. Split it half and half right now. Middle group is looking good. Bottom group needs a bit more help though. Not that much. Not that much help. Right. Just unite everybody down there. And just wait. Now it's a waiting game. Get everybody in place. Stuff is still queued up, which is good. Be able to keep producing with any losses. Twenty-two men at arms there. Fifteen. This one's mostly Lancers. I've got plenty on this left side. Wow. Well, that was actually really close to 55. Kind of surprised. Securing the second bridgehead, the Mongols were one step closer to blocking off all the escape routes. So now it's 67, 57. The last one should be fine. Takes a long time to travel, though. Really, uh, kind of punishes you for not balancing things efficiently. I want this group to heal since they're so close to the monks and they've been fighting this whole time. But I don't want to lose everything down here in case an attack comes. Okay, so that will be over 60, that's good. Second group is pretty close. So once this stuff gets healed, then I think, good to go. Hmm, do I really want all of them healed? 
I don't think it actually matters because I've also got the ally forces here. I didn't think about the fact that I have the yellow ally positioned there too. So this left side can actually be a little less guarded. But just in case this goes terribly wrong, good enough. Alright, let's do this. The Mongols took up position on the last bridgehead. Seeing that the Mongols were attempting to block the city's escape routes, the Song began planning a counterattack. Alright, all of that is in place. Get a little bit of a concave going. 20 seconds till they attack. Party. The Song launched their counterattack on the Mongols holding the bridgeheads. The mm -hmm. Mongols had to hold the three bridgeheads against mm -hmm. the Song attacks. Mm -hmm. Hold the bridgeheads against the counterattack. So, in other words, don't die. Oh, they're they're repairing. I'm taking hits from the fortress because they're ranged. Oh, here they come now. About time y'all showed up. Maybe don't fight on the bridge, guys. Let them actually come out. All three sides are doing okay. Production is continuing, which is good. A lot of grenadiers. Looks like about halfway done. Everything is still holding. Left side's not doing very well. My ally doesn't feel like participating. Typical team game. Wow, not a good fight, guys. Why are you running? Where are you going? Can we not charge the impenetrable fortress, please? 
I feel like I'm managing a daycare system here. Definitely a bit light on the army units now. Oh, it's over. Okay, I guess that's good timing then. Ooh, it's a lot of setup. Desperate to stop an all-out Mongol assault on their walls, the Song destroyed the remaining bridges to the Twin Cities. Unable to advance, the fortress of Zhangyang remained locked to the Mongols. But with the siege established, the Khan's cause was not yet lost. <laughs> Gotta give them points for dedication. They destroy their own bridges. Alright. That one was not hard, but a lot of setup. A lot of time planning, balancing everything out. 